Thank you, First United Methodist Church, for your gift of the ark for Heifer International. Your ark will mean so much because the water buffalo is one of the animals in that ark, and it's the only one that gives all seven of Heifer's gifts to families that receive it. Milk, money, muscle, manure, all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you a little story that I wrote after being to the Philippines and seeing what the water buffalo do for people. Well, hi. I'm a baby water buffalo. Barb met me in the Philippines in 2004. That's me hiding behind my dad. This is my real mom and my heifer mom. My real mom is the one with the green ear tag. This is my family's oldest son, a future heifer farmer. He helps on the farm with my mom. We're such gentle animals that the kids just love us. I follow my kids to the stream almost every day. People ride us like horses, and we pull wagons and carts. We help to clear the roads after the recent typhoons. We also serve as pickup trucks and buses to get the workers and their equipment to the gardens and the fields. This is the rice field where my mom and dad were. It's the biggest source of income for my heifer family. Here's Dad and the neighbors all teamed up together to prepare a field for planting. Mom and Dad work together to pull the plow to make the rows for my family to plant their rice. It's muddy work, but it's wonderful to stay cool in these hot tropical temperatures. After a day of field work, we all meet their co-workers at the community baths. Every day when we get home, we get a serious bath and a final rinse so that we don't get a tick-borne disease. If we don't fight the bath or run away from the kids, we get a reward when we get back home from work. <coughs> to stay healthy from the tick disease, we go to a heifer community clinic twice a year. We line up by a corral and get a shot that's good protection. But we get to see all of our family there, too. We get pills and medicine that taste bad twice a year, but our heifer farmers couldn't afford to lose us. This is a passing on the gift ceremony. It's like my graduation day. I'm glad that Barb got to come. I got old enough to become pregnant so my heifer family could give me to another family. This fulfills their heifer contract and makes me very proud. My new heifer owner is a widow with five children to play with. She is desperately poor, but I will help her change that very quickly. She can plant four times more rice with my help. I even have my own pool in her backyard. I will never forget my first heifer family. But it will be so nice to help my new heifer mom and her kids. My heifer dad told this to Barb when she was here. If my heifer family doesn't, if my heifer bull dies, my family will starve. My new heifer family doesn't have a dad, so I'm really important to her. I will make them healthy with my milk and help her make enough money to send all of her kids to school. You probably can't come visit me here, but I sure thank you for sending water buffaloes to my neighbors. But if you can, go down to Heifer's Ranch in Arkansas and say hi to my uncles.
because of the accountability and record keeping that HEPA requires of the farmers, in many cases we can actually trace a cow today back to those that came over right after the war. We now purchase from previous project owners rather than transporting livestock in ships and planes. I was at one place where we purchased 12 cattle from one farmer that had started 10 years ago to start a new project. Passing on the gift is something that is required of every type of project. They make a commitment that they will give the firstborn female offspring of the animal they receive to somebody else. So not only have you guys been giving gifts every year, but those gifts have been giving gifts every year. This was my first passing on the gift ceremony in Poland. <clears throat> Sustainability is another feature that's required of every heifer project. This was in that same cattle project. The farmers were pooling their income to buy milk cooling machines like this for each farmer in the co-op. They can get a higher price for their milk this way and the dairy comes right to their farm and picks it up. Gender equity is something that many nonprofit organizations, including Kepper, has found to be an excellent use of our time. Women are one of the largest untapped resources in the world. And when we train with the women, we gain so much more in the projects. This lady, I, I just loved, this was in the Republic of Czech. The women's projects frequently asked Heifer to give them literacy training along with the rest of the training because they've never been allowed to go to school. She wanted to be able to sign that Heifer contract herself. And she told us through an interpreter after she signed the contract, I've never had my own name before. I've always just been my husband's wife. Peace projects we have throughout the world. These young men are in a peace project in the Philippines. They were in gangs, similar to the old show West Side Story, which was popular here, except it was still happening there. We work with Hutus and Tutsis in Rwanda with the Kumar Rouge Army and the villagers that survived. They work together in the same project, they get the same training, they receive their animals, but they agree voluntarily to do their pass-ons back and forth between the two groups that were previously at war with one another. We partner with many other organizations. This couple is in Armenia. They have a home here that had been damaged by the earthquakes there. And when we partner with other groups like the Gates Foundation, Bohar, Dan and Dairy, Polanco Agriculture, and many water projects, we can enhance what we're doing and what the other organization is doing as well. Habitat for Humanity is one of the organizations that we partner with in many places, and that couple would soon be moving into this home. We have habitat projects that we partner with in Armenia, Haiti, the Philippines, and Nepal after earthquakes, hurricanes, floods, whatever has 